Hello Sagittarius, I'm hoping you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and do your weekly reading, 21st through the 27th, for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Just overall messages, whatever you guys need to know. What's going on with Sagittarius, please? 21st through the 27th. If you are interested in the extended, the link will be in the description box below. Okay, what's going on with Sagittarius, please? One more, please. There you are with the Hermit. I feel like that's you. We have Virgo and Taurus energy. I feel like someone has been waiting or searching or looking here, but... Um, with the Knight of Wands, it's for, for someone to make a move. It's been a lot of introspection and waiting for certain things to change. We will see. That's very nice. That's very nice, too. Let's see what's going on. Wow. <laughs> That's your thoughts, Sagittarius? Oh, my goodness. We have the Tower. Judgment, the Ten of Cups, Two of Wands, Seven of Wands, Six of Cups. Wow, and the Two of Cups. I have to say that you guys have gotten the Six of Cups more than I feel like any other signs for this month. And again, I feel like it's because of the lunar eclipse um, and also the solar eclipse in Gemini and the lunar eclipse in Sagittarius. Um, it has to do, and of course, with Mercury being retrograde, in your opposite sign, Gemini, I feel like that's why for some of you here, but it's so interesting, but this is beautiful. It is, to me, this is screaming, you know, a connection, uh, a comeback, something from the past. I'm sorry if I keep repeating myself. Sometimes maybe I should stop doing the weeklies because I feel like sometimes the messages um, are the same, but uh, it looks like big this week. Something is about to change, and I feel like you know it. Um, you feel it because the tower is what you have. It's like you're preparing for this. Now, it looks like there's a chance. This is what we're dealing. What is happening? It's like saying, what is the plot here? Well, this is the plot. It's all about this divine moment here. Something that, that's the difference with all the aces here that the pentacles is looking at you know what is being planted it has to do with something tangible not though you have the beautiful ten of cups which is um i believe mars in pisces but it's a piscean energy which can be all about emotional all about happily ever after these two go very well together but that's what we have we have i feel like the garden here towards heaven um it feels very beautiful. It feels like a good opportunity, a gift, something from above here that you feel is coming. Now, I don't know if you're looking for this opportunity because we did have the hermit there. You've been thinking about uh, planting the seed to something here that you feel like has to do with long-term vision in love, partnership, whatever it is that, you know, you feel like you're ready. To, I feel like you're ready to open up here as well uh, regarding this connection to give it a chance. It's like not stay any more closed off. It's, it's just a beautiful opportunity. The only big challenge here, guys, is the Four of Cups, which is lingers. Uh, the Four of Cups here is thinking uh, regarding this opportunity and feeling, is this it? This what may feel like challenge uh, that is coming towards this. Is this the moment? Is this the truth? Is this going to happen now? So the only thing is just kind of feeling like it, this has the type of feeling that not sure here um, if this is um, something you should take or you should plant or what's going to happen. It's a little bit lingering in all these emotions and looking at what you have here right now and not being able to see that there's an offer. That's what can sabotage you. The lingering um, in this kind of thing, if it's going to happen or if this emotion is the one that I should do, am I settling? You know that there's going to be some type of big changes and crises here. 
sudden surprises. But why is this all happening? Is because there's this beautiful dream, I feel like, this content, this happily ever after. That's why it's leading to this, to a satisfaction, to a content, to bliss. Now, there's been some type of tension and struggle in the recent past. It may be, again, that the struggle has been with you, the tension, inner, inner turmoil, or it may have been with other people here. But there's been a little bit push and pull. It felt like a little bit here, no matter what, the desires, that there's some type of blockages or restriction here in the past. And that's maybe that, that Four of Cups that is coming here towards this opportunity that still lingers and waits because of um, this push and pull or tension and all these obstacles and challenges. This is Saturn in Leo energy with the Five of Wands, which is interesting, right? Because Saturn here we have kind of the, the, the planet always that feels like everything has to go through hard work, discipline, authoritative type of energy. And then Leo, it's all about, you know, self-expression and going after our desires and you know what we want uh, being open so I feel like again it has to do with some and competitive and ego of course an ego type of energy for some of you here between two people but that's that's what I feel like it is it is that strife here regarding a desire now as I mentioned, you are going to feel the tower moment here. You are going to feel like no matter this opportunity, it has to be something out of ordinary or again in this situation, I'm sorry, the candle is there. That's why. Something here will not be the same. I don't know if you're afraid of it and that's why again going to the four of cups, you linger because of this. I feel like it. this has to do with a recent past or recent situation here and it's so interesting because you have that in your thoughts in your mind i feel like you're ready for the change you want this to happen in a way to get out of this situation and then we have i feel like that ace of pentacles is um the judgment call here the moment of truth, something that feels, I don't know if it's going to be an idea for some of you here, uh, for some of you, again, it will be a contact, literally a contact from uh, a situation here that you've been waiting, but it feels like the gift here that you're ready, you know, to allow or to open up or the opportunity. Um, it's a clean slate. It's something here that feels is meant to be. Literally, for some of you, maybe you feel like your life is being touched by an angel here um, from some something outside. But I really, really like your reading, guys. I feel like it's something very important. Remember, you have free will. These are telling you the energies that may happen. Do not let something here get out of the way just uh, because you are afraid. But I feel like no matter what's coming, I feel like an awakening or some type of a message here that feels like a life-changing experience, that's what it is. It's opening the door to major changes in your life, and I feel like it's a connection. How are you going to behave? Are you going to see yourself? You have the two of wands, so you feel... Pull towards one choice. Now, you may be between two choices here and you're holding on to something that feels at the moment um, maybe safe. Maybe, again, you feel like um, it's a situation that you have to still hold on to. But uh, there is something here that you're looking for. Remember that Ace of Pentacles. You're looking forward uh, to making a choice. You're looking... In, in this situation, you're looking at a distance of where you want to go. What is the vision? I, I like I keep getting here. I'm sorry. I'm I I go with this reading as uh you know one by one. So I uncover situation as I read it. So I feel like this may be the vision here that is coming in. I hope I'm not confusing you guys. But that's what I feel like you're looking um whatever this news or awakening or some type of you know revelation comes to you because again you're thinking in things that you know are very sudden. It's like a flash of an idea here or a message. 
and, and you feel like you have to make, you're looking forward to making a decision here as you're standing also by another decision. Now, what, what it surrounds you, what is going on around you with a person or any other situation is someone here that feels like they have to overcome a lot of obstacles. This person or situation, again, it may be that you should be aware that there is some blockages here on the way, that there are some obstacles. But remember, this is... Mars in Leo, right? We're getting that the Saturn and Mars. Now, these two together have a lot of endurance. Yes. You know, I know that what I need to do here when it comes to this restriction. So this is someone that defends here something that they want badly. Again, for you to arrive this in this situation, I, I have to overcome all these obstacles or challenges. Or they may be feeling you that you are, you know, very much determined here and you're standing tall in your environment. But it's someone that is not afraid to overcome the obstacles they know that there's going to be a challenge and they're ready up for that challenge that's what i'm getting with that it looks very very much uh, a situation of overcoming the challenges the obstacles and determination there to make it happen and again, because I, it feels something that is meant to be. Now, your hopes, where are going to be your hopes this week through all of this Ace of Pentacles, Four of Cups here? This is something Sun in Scorpio here. A lot of fixed energy, right? We have Plutonian energy, we have Piscean energy, we have Aries, Mars, Scorpio. So it doesn't really, uh, we have Earth. There's something very beautiful here that... Um, you feel, for some of you, again, you have known this situation before, something from the past, a nostalgia, a memory, um, a dream that you had here. If it is not a connection, the Two of Cups may be understanding, again, for some of you, this perfect union, but it can be also, again, you yourself understanding here how to connect spiritually here as well as uh, when it comes to the material world. I feel like most of you, this is a past lover, just to tell you. It's very specific. It's look at how much beautiful cards we have here. So the, the six of cups, it has to do with a situation from the past. You're hoping that this is the time, that this time finally things are coming in. Whatever the lingering, whatever um, feeling like, will this happen or not? Yes, your mind is on someone from the past or a situation from the past, or you're hoping that this is your soulmate that is coming in. This is a contact that finally two people that are supposed to be coming in. Because we're going to clarify the two of cups. This is your outcome, guys, regarding this opportunity. Whatever this sudden surprise here that you have or change, it's leading to a soulmate. It's leading to a connection. So I will say like maybe that the tower is so worth it, you know. So let's see. I'm, I'm going to clarify uh, the 12 cups for you guys. What is the 12 cups, please? One more. Oh my God, I picked too many. Wow, the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and the Nine of Cups. Okay, so how do I always see this? Um, the Ace of Cups and the Nine of, um, I'm sorry, and the Ten of Wands, I always feel like someone that has been burdened by emotions, by feelings, like they're now ready to kind of let it go, but it's regarding a wish fulfillment. So this is a union. It seems like a beautiful union that some that the cup here that offer that someone has been lingering, considering, waiting for. It's coming together. And again, it's something that has been piled and felt heavy for a long time. It's because someone here really truly desired. Remember, the Ten of Cups is why this is all happening. It's because of this wish fulfillment for the happily ever after here, for two people that feel like they are meant to be together. Contentment, bliss, having it all, dreaming big with you and another person here. That, that's what I feel like. I feel like because Piscean energy is all about dreams as well. It's about emotional content. But it's, I feel like it's this beautiful energy that finally, it's like this grand finale. This uh, feels like the end here, finally. 
to whatever this heaviness, obstacles, restriction, challenges, finally feeling like, oh my God, I'm getting my wish fulfillment, something that you know I've worked hard or in this situation, I've, I've put it all, is coming in. I really, really hope this resonates with you guys. Remember, these are pretty general, so it may only resonate for uh, with a few of you. I appreciate a lot. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.